Hello friends. So I am back with one more video. Now today is very simple subject because I used to have a lot of replays on other videos on comments like uh, people are asking what is the difference between regular drawing, grouping and symbol. Okay. Because I, like I got so many questions on this why we have to do grouping or why we have to do symbols all those things. So I'll show you two different ways now. I'll start with this very simple logo kind of animation uh, concept and next I'll show with this particular character. So topic will be like what is this basic drawing instance or like basic drawing shape, what is group and what is symbol. Okay. What is the different uses of all those things. Chalo. So now this is like a regular drawing. Maybe this is done in illustrator. So you can see like a drawing object now. You can see these small small lines here and property will be here you can check if i click on property it says drawing object okay this is not group now okay i'll see i can edit this directly like this right you can edit this object directly and anytime you can move it this will be a big one now i'll make this as a group so i'll select the whole thing i'll duplicate this and each part i'll make a group control g grouping control G group control G group now you can see all are like blue color lines and it says group in properties this one was instance or drawing object maybe if you are not using that object wala thing maybe just like this we just draw something again so where you can edit around say and it is like very difficult when you move something it will go off like this all those things but here in group you can select the separate and you can't edit see if i want to move this like if you want to do the some curve some corrections you can't make anything so this is very very safe maybe you move something and nothing will happen but in this case it is gone like maybe you've done something like this it is gone right so this is very safe still if you want to edit you can go double click on this see you are entered a group and do changes whatever you want inside like this or whatever changes you wanted to do it and you come out double click this is the group so you can edit but safety like this next what all things are there okay see group so now you know the basic two differences here one this is like a regular drawing thing there is no safety on this here they are like a groups now next difference now i'll open this like Okay, you can select multiple like you can select like this multiple objects and you can move. You can select like this multiple objects and you can move in a group. Now I'll keep it here. Okay, now it's totally jumbled up. Right? Now if you want to move this blue one back, just right click, arrange, send to back. See it will go back. So you are you can control each part separately. Arrange, send to back, it will go back. Or if you want this red one to come front, click, right click, arrange, bring to front. See. So you can control each object separately when it is in group. Okay, if it is overlapping also no problem. But in this case, if it is overlaps, see, this will cut automatically. So that is the thing. So in grouping, you don't have that tension of overlapping. Right? And one more very simple one. You want to animate this, maybe you want to animate this separate separately because you know animation you can do like tweening any kind of thing and you have option of distribute to layers. Here you don't have that option. If I take these four different different one groups, you can say right click distribute to layers. See, see my layer timeline. Each part will be in a different different layer. You can see here like the old one like see each part will be in a different layer so this option comes only when it is like group okay so this is the basic difference between regular drawing and group first one it is easy to move and all to arrange and it is overlapping here so you can play with this like arranging all those animations second part third part if you want to edit this you just go inside double click edit and you are going to come in back so it is very safe here and last fourth one distribute to layers you can distribute okay so this is like basic difference between drawing and group now next symbol here chalo done so i'll take this group control d duplicate here now symbol so i'll convert this whole thing into right click 
convert to symbol right now there are many like graphic movie clip all those things there are the other videos uh, showing you difference between graphic all those things now in this case i'll just say graphic and i'll say give some name i'll say logo and i'll just say okay now this is symbol these are groups this is symbol okay now if i click on this check the properties automatically you got so many things on properties here see i click on group nothing is there in property it just says that position scale all those things if i click on syllables symbol c it's a graphic here you have color effects where you can play with the brightness all those things and tint you can change colors alpha you can play with alpha here so all these things happen in symbols not in group this is the first one where and you can duplicate this see i'll take this i'll remove all the first drawing one because it's already we know that now so we'll keep only uh, group and symbol one okay i'll give some space to work so you got it now right so this is symbol so you can duplicate this control d duplicate c and one more thing this is there in library if i open library see this symbol is there in library here these groups are not there in library if this is gone maybe you deleted this by mistake it is gone it is not there but if i delete this symbol it is there in library you can bring it back see there is a one more option on symbols right so one you can duplicate this aram se and if uh, properties you can control through properties okay last next one it is there in library so anytime you can be there in library all the symbols next properties where you can control color effects filters uh, all these extra animations looping these things are very important in lip sync expressions all those things and even filters it will work with the symbols that is the basic difference between uh, grouping and symbol now i'll go little deep little inside so now we know it was a group so if we double click on the symbol see here we are in scene one we are entered the logo i'll come back again we are in scene it is written scene i'll just double click on the symbol so we entered inside the symbol where we had the groups right there was a step first you draw then you group then you make symbol now here we are having separate timeline uh, just see you will understand i will take all these four i will say distribute to layers done i am not touching that mine timeline we are inside this logo see come back to scene nothing is there one layer all the files are here if i double click on symbol we can have our own different timeline i'll give small animation now simple just to show you the idea i just keep this separate in first frame i just keep it here see it is coming inside simple simple animation just to show you the difference now, i'll come back to scene now okay i'll come back to scene see here this was the group there is no animation but this is symbol where inside we are having animation but on work area you are having just one symbol here got it so this is the basic difference between regular drawing or object drawing group and symbol so symbol is having library it will be there in library it is having lot of different different options in properties and it is having its own timeline as usual if i go inside you can see animation but in work area there is just object got it this is the basic thing now same thing i'll show you using this particular character same concept i'll show you again using this particular character i'll close this okay now this character i'll be taking video will be little lengthy but just don't skip this part because it is on character so this is our regular drawing like maybe you draw a pencil and you trace or you do it from illustrator and you bring whatever this is like basic drawing here as we know now so this is like grouped one you can see here like full body parts are grouped separate separately right now we know the advantage of grouping so you can move this separately and you can move like multiple objects you can select you can move here you can for it will be very easy for animation if the grouping is done right 
and you can arrange like if you maybe like you want this hand front so control front you can arrange i'm just simply i'm showing you uh, not as per your storyline but you can arrange if anything you want to make it so you can arrange like bring to front bring to back all those things so you can rearrange the character that's very important and as usual you can mix up like you can select like these two parts for animation and you can animate see now it is going back so right click arrange bring to front so this part these things you can do it right these are grouping i'll go back to normal some pose okay next what you can do you can distribute to layers if you want to do animation so you can select all these body parts and right click and you can say distribute to layers so you can control each part separately like you can control the head separately all those things here we can't see if i cut this hand it is gone like you can't control the things so this is all about grouping done and again if you want to do any changes just go inside do the changes and come back so it is very safe like if you do something like this also it will be very safe nothing will happen to the original drawing here not like that if you do something like this it is gone chalo this is the second one now next was symbol right why you are going to do symbol so i'll select this control d duplicate i'll make this whole character as a symbol right click convert to symbol i'll make this as a symbol right as i told you movie clip graphic difference and we'll have separate video on that what is the difference between graphic movie clip all those thing but still now this is the symbol whole character so first advantage you can duplicate this character so you can duplicate this character with the animation next you have all the properties i'll just push this side this character okay i'll just, just keep it here so you see properties will open up when you click on the character you have color effects you can change on the brightness all those things you can try or you can change the tint like day and night shot or something like that you can change the tint also and you can do alpha transparency so you can work on all the other these things and even you have something called filters right you can work on those also just go down you want drop shadow you can see you can play with the drop shadow right see so all these things will work only with the symbol and next again like so you can go inside and you are having your own timeline here so you can do any animation of this character in this same we done for that logo wala part so like you can go here and you can animate something here you are having separate totally different timeline for example i just say right click distribute to layers so you can see there are so many layers now inside we are inside simple and there are so many layers but when you come to scene there is one single character so you have separate timeline if you do symbol this is the basic idea about symbols like a uh, normal drawing grouping and symbol okay so with this i'll wrap up this video but next important step or important topic uh, i'll be uploading one more video next so in that i'll show you some thing if if i make each part symbol what will happen in this case we had made like whole uh, character as a one symbol right if i take each part as symbol then what will happen and what all the advantages and when we will be doing this it will be coming in my next video okay till then bye bye so just when you are doing please group the objects and if you want in between separate animation please do it as a symbol if you want to use like properties lip sync uh, expressions filters everywhere you need symbols okay chalo bye bye see you on next video